Well guys, it's a beautiful Sunday morning and you guys have helped me out a lot. Okay, so previously in the last video I asked you guys where to get dry ice because I was having a big, a lot of issues finding dry ice in any stores around here. Well, turns out it was with my method. I was trying to find a store that sold dry ice, but I should have gone through Praxair to find where they sold their dry ice too. Because on their website they have a list of all the stores they sell to in the area. So look what we got. Dry ice. It's a little bit more dry ice than I expected, but oh well. I say, let's bring this stuff home and experiment with it, because it is pretty cool. Quite literally, very cool. Okay, so here we go. That's a big chunk, look at that. I shall grab it and put it onto the ground. And let's grab some water, see what happens. That's cool. That little drop of water is burning a hole through the dry ice. Oldest movie prop trick in the book. <sighs> Let's break off a chunk. Go and add some more to that water. Oh, I just realized and it'll make nice cold water too. So this is actually pretty advantageous. Turns room temperature water into cold water. Nicer, bigger chunks here. Now I want to take this and put it into this vacuum chamber, or at least future vacuum chamber. Currently it's still an oil filter. Oh look at that. It's freezing around it. I saw it pop a couple chunks into here. Oh man, that's not happy. I don't know what kind of oil is in there. Pressure's going up a little bit. Just slightly though. It'll take a little time to get that going. Looks like it has like two or three PSI in it. Okay, so this is kind of all getting in the way that there's a bunch of oil in here and a big oil filter. So I say let's go ahead and take out the oil and the oil filter. Yeah, it smells like vegetable oil. So I'm thinking this is probably for uh, some food stuff. Oh, I just realized there's a false wall in here. A false floor, I mean. There's like another inch or so below that that there's a bunch of oil in there. 
That's where this tube goes into. So I'm just gonna not mess with that right now. Oh. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. You can do it with the putting coins onto it. it makes it vibrate like that. In comes the water. Bigger chunks coming up. Or actually, I'll probably... Let's break that into small pieces. And add some more dry ice. Oh, look at that. Oh man, look at that, the pressure. Pressure's climbing again. I don't trust that meter too much, so... They want to go past 10. My counting is kind of flicking around a little bit. So I think I remember seeing that if you pre press a warm coin up against some dry ice, it'll make a zip. That sound, yep. It's a dricycle. Oh, 
Let's check on how this is doing. There's quite a bit of ice blow up around it. That's prohibiting the melting of the, or actually the sublimation of the dry ice. And finally, let's see what happens when, uh, let's do this one. Dry ice freezes a lithium-18650 cell. So the battery's at 3.85, almost 3.851 volts. Hook it together with a rubber band, which will most likely fail in the cold temperatures. Bundle it back up to insulate it. Let's see how that does. It's been about an hour now, and let's see how it's done. Oh, look at that. It's quite chilly, that's for sure. What? It's gone up in voltage. That doesn't make any sense. It's supposed to go down in voltage. Although, I can guarantee you... If I tried to pull current from this, it would give almost no power. Like, for instance, let's go to amps. Let's just try this. Yeah, a few hundred milliamps. But that should make it melt or heat up a little bit. Then again, it's probably, it's probably at like a minus 100, so it's probably not going to have much effect. But yeah, it's... It only gives 100 milliamps. So pretty much it's down to an eighth of a C for discharge rating. That rubber band isn't really elastic -y right now. Because when I did the discharge test before, it only gave out 880 milliamp hours of capacity. And it took two amp hours of capacity, so it burned off a lot of heat. that oh, that's weird oh that's that little drop of water that got stuck there and didn't really freeze until a little while later but it made a weird like cone shape it's weird so guys I think that's pretty much it for today I'm going to save this dry ice and see how long it'll last I'll put it inside this blanket And there we go, it's all insulated. Looks like this thing's still going, just a little bit. It's made like a little castle of ice around it and there's still a little bit of dry ice in there fizzing away. This was about 7.8 pounds of dry ice and it cost me about $12 to purchase this. Not bad for the fun and for the novelty of finally having a bunch of dry ice. If you have any ideas for what I should do with it in the future, let me know in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching. See ya!